What Otani is doing on the field is just crazy. But what he's doing off the field with his lifestyle might just be crazier. Did you know that Otani cannot live without his specially customized pillow, which was made by a Japanese person who measured the exact size and shape of his shoulder? This pillow accompanies him everywhere he goes, and he mostly sleeps with it with his head facing down. If you're thinking, how the heck does he breathe? You're not alone. But with Otani, is anything really surprising anymore? Anyway, something else that he keeps in his possession at all times is a game-ready ice machine, which he uses on his hand for pain and possible swelling. He is also crazy about his iPad, which he uses to create and organize his daily schedules, check baseball stats and his daily menu, and read manga novels, with his favorite manga being Slam Dunk. Other things he can't live without include a bat, a glove, a pair of cleats, a heart rate monitor, compression pants, a weighted sleep mask, and the most obvious one, his phone. For someone whose net worth is around $15 million, according to Sportskedia, he lives a completely humble lifestyle. And his net worth is looking to skyrocket soon once he reaches free agency. His last contract was a one-year deal in October 2022 that cost $30 million without arbitration. This was a huge increase in his salary earnings after he had received over $12 million from 2018 to 2021. But his next one, which would come at the end of the 2023 season, will likely reach $500 million. This is not to mention the endless sponsorship deals under his sleeves. Otani reportedly has over 15 endorsement deals from different brands, particularly in the US and Japan. He's representing New Balance, Oakley, Panini, Tops, Seiko, Koa, Fanatics, Desente Hugo Boss, Mitsubishi Bank, and others. According to Forbes, his estimated earnings from endorsement every year before agent fees and taxes are subtracted is about $20 million. This is the most by any player in the league, and the only person that comes close is Bryce Harper, with a yearly earning of $6.5 million. With all his money, Otani could afford to be a lavish spender without denting his account very much. But he has so far chosen to remain modest with his spending. Since coming to the league, he only purchased his first car in 2021. This is unusual considering how players usually buy their first ride in their rookie year, but Otani is different. His car is also different from the usual Porsches and Lamborghinis because he got a Tesla, a matte black Model X SUV Tesla, which reportedly costs over $100,000. This purchase even caught the attention of the CEO of Tesla and Twitter, Elon Musk, who tweeted a heart emoji and the Japanese national flag icon. His tweet was a reply to a handler at Hiro Michi Mizuno, who posted a video of Otani and his new whip. Aside from his expensive car, most of Otani's luxurious items come from his endorsement deals, such as his deal with the Japanese watch company Seiko. In 2022, Otani broke a 104-year-old record by being the first player ever to get double-digit home runs and double-digit wins in a single season. Because of this, Seiko made the Astron Nexter Series watch, which costs 308 thousand yen or two thousand three hundred sixteen dollars in his honor only one thousand seven hundred pieces were made with otani owning one so if it's not watches or exotic car collections then where do his millions go well the thing is otani barely touches his money when he was still playing baseball in japan he gave his account to his parents to handle a salary account that had 2.4 million dollars in it. And even when his mom left him some change of $1,000 in his personal bank account, he didn't spend much of it. Nevertheless, he dips his hand in his huge financial pocket sometimes, but not too deeply. Some of his money goes back into society, but sometimes they don't go very far, just within the Angels organization, such as when he donated the $150,000 price he earned from the Home Run Derby in 2021. The beneficiaries of this donation were clubhouse workers, media relations staffers, and trainers. All of them received their checks by hand from the Japanese sensation. He's also been involved in Japan Heart Foundation, which has been fighting cardiovascular diseases since 1970. 
and the Tohoku Earthquake Children's Relief Funds, an NGO that provides relief funds during disaster crises. If disasters usually bring down houses, the question that must be running through your mind right now is, where does Showtime live anyway? Well, there is no clear answer to that, unfortunately. Truth is, it's hard to tell, but during the season, he stays at an undisclosed apartment in Los Angeles, and when it's the off-season, he travels back to his roots. Otani is a giant in modern-day baseball, currently doing things that even Babe Ruth could not accomplish in his time. And he has been able to achieve all of this because of his unparalleled talent as a two-way star. He can hit and he can pitch in the same game, and because of that, he forced a rule change in 2022. This was officially named the Otani Rule, and it states loosely, A pitcher who is in the starting lineup as a hitter can remain in the game as the DH after being pulled from the mount. Otani was also the first player ever in the history of baseball to be selected as both a position player and a pitcher during the 2021 All-Star Games. These are just a few of the many ways Otani has dominated Major League Baseball since he flew down to America where he has played for the Los Angeles Angels since 2018. But he's still fully Japanese both outwardly and at heart. Even after spending more than four years in America, he's chosen to speak through his interpreter, Ipe Muzuhara. And this has nothing to do with whether he can speak English or not. In fact, Otani can speak English and Spanish fairly good. But it would appear he wants to maintain his Japanese identity to the letter. This is why when Stephen A. Smith called him out for not speaking English, the Japanese star set the record straight with a statement, quote, Of course, I would want to. Obviously, it wouldn't hurt to be able to speak English. There would only be positive things to come from that. But I came here to play baseball at the end of the day, and I felt like my play on the field could be my way of communicating with the people, the fans. That's all I really took from that in the end. If you wanted to learn better and get better at speaking, he would have. But like he said, communicating with baseball is enough. But what do you think about this? Let us know below. Nevertheless, Otani loves Japan and flies back to his hometown in Oshu, Iwate Prefecture. At any chance he gets, this is where Otani is truly himself. This is where it all started. Back home, he is the youngest child among three siblings of the Otani family. He has a sister named Yuka and a brother, Ryuta, who plays amateur baseball in the Japanese Industrial League. Growing up, his father juggled between amateur baseball in the Japanese Industrial League and working at a local factory that manufactured automobiles, while his mother played at the national level as a badminton player in high school. It was his father that taught him baseball, and he became so good that when he was then referred to as Yaku Shonen, which translates as a kid who lives, eats, and breathes baseball. And he did live, eat, and breathe baseball because he didn't even have time for any other thing, including girls, even when they flocked around his huge, handsome self. His former high school coach, Hiroshi Sasaki, once said, Anybody else would want to get out of Nippon Ham's dorms in a hurry, move into their own place, call over a girlfriend. He's not like that. He doesn't go out to eat or drink. He just likes to be close to somewhere he can train. Sasaki is not wrong. Otani loves to train hard, which is no wonder why he is so buff and physically dominating. He also loves eating healthy and staying fit. Otani is a scary bean when he trains. So scary that when Alex Cobb still played for the Angels, he was quoted as saying, when he trains, he wants to beat the world record. That's not exaggerating. He'll ask, what's the world record? He might do the normal leg raises and squats, weightlifting and whatnot, but most of his training exercises and even his dietary plans are purely data-driven. This means that Otani has experts who quantifiably analyze his body's chemical levels to know the amounts and types of food to be taken. Fabian Ardaya of The Athletic once gave us an insight into Otani's regimen when she said he regularly had blood drawn to find out which foods produce the best results in optimum recovery. That was the Otani way. He also visits player development centers such as Driveline Baseball in Seattle, which have experts that help athletes improve their performance by developing their physical and mental strength. Basically, anything that'll help make Otani better He's totally up for it. But it isn't just about work alone for him, at least not anymore. He has finally given dating a chance. Since coming to America, he's found love with his current girlfriend, Kamalani Dung, a Hawaiian born to Honey Rodriguez and Lance Dung. 
She plays in the Puerto Rican National Softball League and the Athletes Unlimited Softball League as a pro SB pitcher. She's also a philanthropist and model, but the exact time that she and Otani began dating is not known. But what we do know is Otani, as a legend, continues to grow, so will his wealth, and so would people's curiosity about his lifestyle. If you enjoyed this video about Shohei Otani's lifestyle, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. See you there.